I've been reading a couple comments from you guys asking to cover yachts that are environmentally conscious and solar powered. But don't worry, there will definitely be more of that to come in the future. But for now, I've got something a little bit different for you all, while still keeping in this idea of going green. Funny enough, I'd actually been reading about this yacht a good month or so prior to making this video. So when David came to me asking me to dig a bit deeper, I obviously jumped to the occasion. Now the reason I love this yacht so much is not only because it's beautiful, I mean, it's a piece of artwork, but it's because I see it as a solution. Maybe not the solution, but it's at least a good response to some very important worries at the moment. With that in mind, it's my pleasure to introduce to you guys the Ice Kite Project. Designed by the Turkish studio Red Yacht Design, the idea for the ice kite quite literally came from Mother Nature, with the owner wanting something that really felt like it belonged to the ocean. Straight off the bat, one of the more prominent design features of the yacht is the copious amounts of glass. I mean, it pretty much sweeps all the way back over the flybridge, almost like a, <laughs> like a greasy comb over. In a good way though. Lots of natural light obviously illuminates the work done on the interior, but it'll also create an incredible sense of openness in the two lounge areas, especially in the kite lounge where there is literally glass everywhere. Another important characteristic of the yacht is the focus on an outdoor lifestyle. In fact, she has 475 square meters of deck space, which apparently is quite a lot for a 64 meter. Although this is not technically a sailing yacht, she does however have to perform like one, otherwise she probably wouldn't get very far. I'm no engineer, but I can read, so hold on for the next section where I can at least pretend like I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, this is very much why she takes on this sleek and light form. And so by removing the heavy superstructure, she obviously gets much lighter, but there's this wonderful byproduct of all of this space. There's a touch and go helipad, a big beach club with a dining area and bar. There's even a waterfall fed swimming pool, which is pretty cool. Definitely a very aesthetic feature, almost gives that sort of spa feel. Up at the flybridge now, there's a somewhat more private sun deck with the jacuzzi and sunbeds, as well as a full size bar, barbecue area and loads of seating space. Unfortunately, not much has been released about the interior, but I have managed to get my hands on these two images. So this round staircase, which is positioned aft, allows loads of natural light to flood into the lower deck, where there are room for 10 guests with four cabins, as well as, of course, a full beam owner suite. But what's more interesting, though, is that there's a spa at the center of the lower deck, allowing easy access from the guest and owner's cabins. The team behind the Ice Kite project have established a system that uses a kite setup to help improve the efficiency of the two man V8 engines and the already very efficient hull. Now, the Skysail's kite propulsion system, which was actually initially developed for the commercial shipping industry, is a great solution to reducing fuel consumptions and emissions, but it also improves the comfort of the ride as well as the sound reductions with her low resistance hull designed with a high length to beam ratio and a low wetted surface like that of a sailing yacht, there's much less resistance allowing her to move with much less power and therefore much less fuel. I wanted to understand how this kite really differs from a normal sail and other than removing the traditional rig setup, you can actually reach much higher altitudes of about 100 to 300 meters where the stronger currents are and therefore requires a much smaller surface area of about 160 square meters. All in all, this comes together to give a very respectable estimated top speed of 17.4 knots. Seeing as the ice kite is designed to have the best and most efficient performance possible, it's obvious that having your tender and your toys in a garage or on deck might not be the best idea. So they've come up with this great little support vessel. I say little, it's 26 meters. So the Ice Ghost, which firstly is a great name, is designed to carry some pretty hefty kit. An Icon A5 airplane, 
a U-boat work submarine, a 60 knot custom made rib and two jet skis. Below deck there's obviously more room for storage of other equipment as well as two twin cabins. I mean this support vessel would satisfy anyone's needs on its own. Once the crane has dropped all of the toys into the water, she even opens up into a massive party area. So there she is. Honestly can't wait to see the final product and to see where this idea of kite sailing will go in the future. Unfortunately, our natural world won't continue to be a resource if we continue to destroy our natural methods of sustainability. But it looks like we're going in the right direction. And I'm happy to see that people are trying to involve new solutions to reduce our carbon emissions. The natural world is one of our most valuable assets. So finding new ways of incorporating her into yachting has got to be a good thing. One of the other things that I like about this yacht is its connection to its surroundings. This feels very much like a yacht where one would feel happy. Now I know that sounds like an obvious thing, but I mean in a well-being sense, not just because it has a spa and a focus on an active lifestyle, but because the environment is in fact very connected to our mental and physical well-being. Simply put, it makes us feel good.